has loaded the engine file and we can see the inferencing so the video is running very smoothly I mean hello and welcome back to rocket systems youtube channel so in our previous video we discussed how we can convert a yolo v5 model into a tensor rt engine file on jetson xavier and then we also inferenced over two image files in this video we are going to write a basic code where we will use a video file to do inferencing over that video file using the tensorrt uh, engine file now i have already cloned this repository i'll put the link into the description so you can also clone this repository because all the files are present inside this uh, repository so one of the important file which we are going to use is the yolo v5 detection class um, let me just quickly open it so I'll give you a brief idea of how this class works so that you can uh, modify it as per your use case. So here we are importing all the libraries, CUDA files, CV2 and all those things. Now this is the main uh, class which we are going to use and it's inside its constructor we have defined some of the variables. So for example all the categories are mentioned here, uh, how much is the confidence and we have also initialized our engine file and then we have initialized some of the buffer variables for uh, the host and the CUDA memory so basically just to give you a brief idea of how the inferencing works is that we first uh, we first read the frames from the from the video file or from the camera and then we pass in pass that to a host memory from the host memory we copy that to a CUDA memory and then from the CUDA memory we do the inferencing and once we have the uh, results we pass those results back to the host memory so this is why these host and the CUDA memories have been defined here and then this is the preprocess function and this is the main function where all the inferencing is happening so here you can see we are copying the host data into the CUDA and then we are doing the inferencing at this particular line and then once we have the um, the output the result we are copying those from CUDA memory to the host memory so this is this is all about this YOLO v5 detection class you can go through this and if you want you can modify this as per your choice now let's write a basic simple uh, app.py code which will basically use this uh, YOLO v5 class and then uh, we'll do the inferencing so let's create a document here and let's open this up now obviously i mean once you clone the repository this this file will already be present here so you don't have to rewrite this code again but just for this video i'm going to write and explain how you can use that particular uh, yellow v5 class so first we'll import some of the library so import sys import cv2 and then i'll also import I am utils because we will use this to resize the frame and then we will also import our yolo v5 detection class okay now let's initialize our class let's take a variable model yolo v5 trt and first let's pass the library so let me explain you where you can find this library file so in our previous video when we built the engine file inside the yolo v5 and the build directory so this is the library file and this is our engine file so we have to give the full path to these two files so library equals to yolo v5 build and then so this is the path to the library file and then i'll copy this and then we have to pass in the model file sorry uh, this is the engine engine and then yolo v5 s dot engine and then at the end we have to pass the conference so let's take it as 50 percent now let's also load the video file Okay, so that is done now let's take a while true loop and let's read the first frame sorry
and let's resize this frame so that we can monitor it properly and let's resize it with a width of 600 and now let's perform the detection so detection equals to model dot inference so this is the same uh, function we are using which I explained earlier and we'll pass the frame and once we have the detections we'll let's simply show the CV2 window uh, let's call it as output and then we'll pass our frame here and then the usual stuff of the CV2 so key equals to CV2 dot wait key if key equals to equals to so that if we press Q our window should close and let's release our camera and then let's destroy all windows perfect let me just quickly take a look everything looks perfectly fine okay now let's run this code and then we'll see if how it goes okay so we have a error here I think it's just a typo so it should be plugins so it should be s here okay I think it has loaded the engine file and we can see the inferencing so the video is running very smoothly I mean obviously we have not added the FPS but this definitely looks more than 20 frames per second and it looks perfectly fine so let's do one thing I have another video file let's try to do inference over that video file as well, as well so I'll just press Q and then this will safely exit perfect now let's just uh, use test video one file and then let's run this again perfect so it has loaded this video file as well and uh, we can see this video file is also running very smoothly it's detecting all the cars and the trucks on this highway and all the detection is happening with more than 80 percent of the confidence which is what we wanted so this is how you can write a very basic python script for in order to do inferencing using the yolo v5 tensor rt model it's just a very basic code hardly 10 lines of the code and you can obviously clone the repository from the link given in the description and then you can obviously modify it as per your choice so that's all for this video thank you for watching this video please like share and subscribe to the channel